Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, and today we are playing The Last Bottle of mm -hmm. Rum. Uh, this is a game that is currently on Kickstarter. We have a preview video of it out as well, where we go over all the rules and mechanics. We're not gonna do that here in this video. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and swing into a epic pirate battle where I sail across the seas, gathering treasure, Arr. securing Arr. bounty, so that I can buy the last available bottle of rum uh, that exists in this pirate world. Important. And you will get none. I'm joined today with Tommy. Uh, Tommy is a part of the Kingdom Death modding community. If you're curious what that is, we're gonna have some content coming out on the stuff that you and your group do yep. uh, here very soon. But he's actually up here to play some Kingdom Death with me today. Immediately after this, we're diving into prologue and campaign number one. Yep. So if you wanna see uh, some epic gameplay, stay tuned here on the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But let's go ahead and swing into this game and what game uh, on this channel is not complete without a little bit of flavor text at the top. I, I mean, it, it's literally what I do. It I, I make these videos for myself, I read the flavor text for myself, I watch them back and listen to myself read myself stories. That's, at the end of the day, that's kind of what this is all about. I agree. Okay, the last bottle of rum. There is only one last bottle of rum on the whole archipelago, and pirates from all the seas want to trade their treasure for this legendary beverage. It's time to go on a booty hunt. Sail uncharted waters and be the fastest to collect enough loot to buy this last bottles. Players must explore the archipelago, dig up treasures, and bring them to the pirate's hideout to score booty points. The first player to reach 10 points gets the last bottle and wins the game. Arr. Since I'm from Kentucky, I mean, it really should be the last bottle of bourbon. I feel like there could be... <laughs> I mean, that would be an entirely different game, though. It'd be like backwoods in the forest of uh, Appalachia, going through, like, coal mines and stuff like that, going... <laughs> Going for the oh doggy, I got myself the last bottle of bourbon here. That'd be good, right? I think it's a, good it's game. a whole we, we'll pitch the game to them. I think this theme for their first game though is a uh, is a good initial swing. Let me go ahead and cover what's here on the table, and then we'll get directly into this game. Yep. So we each have two unique player boards. Oh, and by the way, people know this by now, but this is a Kickstarter. That means this is a prototype. That means the rules, mechanics, gameplay, even the components we're playing with, while they are very nice, they are nice. They're not the official finished product. Uh, so use this as a reference for what to expect, but uh, do not use this as your source and you know uh, what's going to come in the official box. Yep, they produced a very nice prototype for us to play with, however. And along with that, some of the rules have changed in the process of bringing this game to Kickstarter uh, from playtesting and people giving them feedback. So what you see in this gameplay may be slightly different from some of the how to play videos or some of the other gameplay videos out there on the market. So we each have a hand of cards. Our cards are gonna control our actions. I'll flip a few of these just to demonstrate how they'll work. Each turn you will play two cards at the same time from your hand. They will have special abilities down here on the bottom, yep. things that you can employ by playing doubloons to utilize them and potentially taking curses. They will also have movement and other action abilities up there at the top. For instance, Strong Winds allows me to move two locations uh, and the bomb allows me to attack two spaces away. Ooh. As long as I pay a doubloon to fire a cannon at you. Put these kind of down here at the bottom. This is the archipelago that we were exploring. In the middle here is going to be the Pirate's Cove. That is where you return treasure to. We are looking for these different island locations, each of which have a unique treasure. These are randomized, so we just draw them as we play the game. That's one thing that is going to be improved. In the final copy of this game, those islands, right now they're abstract shapes. They will actually be silhouettes of the islands that exist out here. Okay. A little bit easier to identify. The abstract shapes are a little bit hard to trace, but they're resolving all of that. Again, prototype. Up top there, we have our victory point and our curse tracker. The victory point is going to be booty points. The first to 10 wins the game, period. Below that is going to be the curses tracker. That's where we're going to be drawing from this deck and drawing Kraken cards. When a Kraken attacks, whoever's highest on that will roll the dice and lose booty points and curses equal to the value rolled on this dice. And it goes all the way up to two. Yep. So I believe there's three twos or two twos. Two uh, ones three and ones and a blank. Yep. Uh, are you ready to explore the seas? I am. Because I I did tell you that I was going to win. You did. I don't think so. And I but intend I intend to win. You do. You want to go first? Just mm -hmm. to start off the. What do you think? No, I think you should go. Yeah, first. I, I should go first. All right. Look down here at my cards, and let's see what I'd like to do. Mm. So I'm going to start off by playing Strong Winds and a Voodoo Doll. 
Voodoo Doll is gonna go ahead and gain me one more doubloon. Mm -hmm. Top action there. I have a total movement of three, although I could roll the die and move extra if I wanted to utilize Whoa. the Strong Wind's ability. Uh, and the Voodoo Doll, I'm gonna go ahead and pay two coins to add a curse to you. What? Well, I'm playing for keeps. That does happen. So go ahead and move your tracker up by one over there. Uh, oh, and by the way, my special ability here with the turtle, uh, I can carry up to three treasures on my ship. And what do you have? And whenever you're supposed to add two curses during your turn, suffer only one instead. That might be one of the reasons why I'm inching you up that track to start with. It's gonna be hard to curse me. It's gonna be hard to curse you. I also can attack one space away. So I, <laughs> I cannot attack you in the pirate cove. I j so if uh, parlay. Yeah, <laughs> if we're, when we're there. It's peace times. So I have three movement that I can go ahead and utilize. I'm gonna move one, two, move on to this square. So we have a, a nice little island. Let's see if that correlates at all. Nope. No. Three, move over into this location. Ooh, does that look? That one does not correlate either. That's cool. Okay. Uh, and I do not have the money I need to go ahead and pay the extra action to move. So these are just gonna be added to the discard pile and on to you. Okay. I think You know that's... you're going down. You think so. You, I mean... I think I, too, will add a voodoo doll. Okay. Uh, then... Because you are how many away? You got to play two at the same time. Yeah. I'll do a grapnel. Ooh, okay. Just trying to move. So I get my one coin. You do get your one coin. There you are. I don't think you're close enough that I can actually attack, though. Uh, you need to be within two spaces to fire a shot off. Yeah, I know, but at least I can move my twice. You could, yeah. So one, two. Okay. Oh, nothing. MTC. Your ship has sailed. That's it? You're not doing any of your body? Yeah, I don't think you really can do... I can't do anything else. You could use the voodoo dolls if you wanted to push me yeah, the first I, try. Yeah, I could have a curse. But... No. Okay. I'm drawing up. You always draw up to four cards in your hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and play down. I do not need those at the moment. So we are gonna play uh, Grapple uh, and two wind, or so three movement total, and one shot if I wanna if I wanna get one off at you. I'm gonna move one. That does not tie to any islands yet. Nope. I'm gonna move two. Also doesn't tie to any. But this one does give me a coin, which is wonderful. I'm gonna push forward here. I'm gonna move, ooh. You know, I think I'm gonna move right here. Three. Does that one connect? Nope. Does not either. Hey, buddy. Uh, and I have that extra... That extra grapple. I'm gonna fire cannon your way. Okay. Just go ahead and draw up from this bag here and let's see what damage we do. I'm starting off mean. Limited movement. So that's gonna go up there on your sail. So you can only move one space mm. until you get that healed. A gear card will heal that card though. Okay. So not, you know, not too big of a price. These are gonna to go to the discard pile. So where these are gonna draw up to four and it is now your turn. Okay. So I'm going to, I do have a, I'll go plank. Okay, so you're playing a plank. And then I will do a grapnel. So my plank is, is I can fire back as well as heal. Okay. All, all the players discard one card, choose one from them and play it. If you spend those two dollars. Yep, yep. And then move or attack again. So first I'm gonna do, I will do the attack on you. So discard a coin. Okay, and I'm drawing from this bag. Yep. Shouldn't have gotten close. Happens. Uh, I have hand limit reduced. All right, my hand limit's reduced by one. So I currently only have two cards in my hand though. So it doesn't, doesn't go down right now. I fix this with the other gear. You do, it's repaired. Are you paying the coins to play one of my cards? I'm not. Okay. I don't feel like I need to. Well, and that, that could be a bigger buff if we're playing with, we're playing with two players. Yep. That we had here. With higher player counts, this becomes quite the mess of like people squabbling totally. for control. Totally. Do you have to put them in order? Uh, no. So then I will attack again. <laughs> Pay coin. Uh, treasure slots reduced by one. And then okay. I will move. All right. Move up. Ah, oh, open seas again. Good. Good, I approve. Coming on to me. My hand limit's reduced, so I only get to draw off one card. 
I do need to go ahead and fix it. I'm going to be playing two planks. It's going to give me no movement, um, but it will give me two repair. So both of these are going to be repaired. Go ahead and add yours back into the bag there as well. Uh, I don't have enough doubloons to do the bottom action. I do have enough to attack you two spaces away, though, by using both of those shots. So I'll go ahead and do that. As you're leaving, she's gonna send, we're just going to send a volley your direction. Just one? Just one. Yep. So this is the distance that you can yep. attack. Ooh, cannons disarmed. Nice. Yikes. Nice. Well, I mean, you're not close to me anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. Yep. All right, on to you. I'm going to do strong winds and plunder. Ooh, you got a lot of movement. Actually, I'll do plunder first. Well, you play them both at the same time, and then you resolve them accordingly. Yep. So, I will shoot you first before I go. Uh, you're too far away. You said two away, right? Uh, no. If you had two of those skull oh. icons. So, I see, I had two of the skull icons, so it yep, was yep. one, two. Got you. So, let's go check one. Okay, that's the heart-shaped one. That is not one of them. It is not. Two. Uh, that is one of Ooh, them. Ooh, that is one. So if you move on there, you well, you did move on there. You get the doubloon, and you get to pick up that treasure. Uh, what does that treasure signify? Pyro Codex. You can't be attacked by other pirates. Okay, go ahead and resolve this island here. Let's go ahead and flip another island out and flip another treasure out. So a little circle-shaped location there. Okay. And a regular treasure chest. I don't think we found that location yet either. I haven't either. And there's two more. I've got two more spaces. So you I'm going to do here. Okay. Open seas. I get a lot of open seas. You do. And three. Is Which, that? No. Nope. That's not nope. one either. Nope. So if you return home, you get to drop off that level three treasure, by the way. Oh, I hate that I'm kind of surrounded by explored areas. <clears throat> All right, drawing up three, because I only had one left in my hand. Um, strong winds is gonna be for sure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the voodoo doll. So I have a total movement of three. I gain a doubloon. I could attack, but I'm not within range. Um, I guess you're just moving. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I could, I could spend coins, but I don't have them necessary. So one. That does not tie any to anything, but it will give me a coin. And two, that does not tie into anything, but it'll give me a second coin. So I have two coins now. I'll do my third movement into here. Um, and if I wanted, I could go ahead and spend two coins to give you another curse. Why would you do that? Let's do it. Put your curse up. We're using a voodoo at all against you. All right, on to you. Ooh, strong winds, luckily. Okay. And I will use a voodoo doll. Okay. So, one, two, three movement. Going straight into the port, gonna drop off that treasure? Hell yeah, I am. Okay. So I'll give me one. Um, got my one from there, I can spend two. I think I'm gonna give you a curse. That's unnecessary. I feel like you need Push some me up that track by I gotta, one. I gotta bring you up as well. I mean, you're gonna lose, so I understand why you're being aggressive. And then, no, I, you can't attack me. Uh, I can't attack. I can't. I couldn't attack you when it was on you. Oh right. But now I you're spending it. You're returning it. It is part of your treasure. You're gonna move your booty points up by three. You are that much closer to not getting the bottle from. R. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All I have to do is find all of the islands with all of the treasure and bring it all back home. It's not that hard. And because you're within one, I'll spend the last one to attack you. I'm not within one. I'm two oh, away. Oh, you're right. Two away. Good try. Okay, mm. on to me. Uh, I just drew the Fury of the Kraken. Ooh. As soon as you draw this card, reveal it uh, to all the other players and resolve the attack. I'm rolling a die. That is going... Really? It's a zero. So the Kraken does nothing. You do not lose your curses, you do not lose your treasure, which is slightly disappointing. Okay, four cards in my hand. What do I actually, okay, I'm gonna start Rabbit's Foot and then the Grapple. Okay. Uh, Rabbit's Foot's gonna give me two more coins. I could spend a coin and take a curse, 
in order to, to draw the next action card and play it immediately. I will go ahead and do that. So coin, mm -hmm. give me a curse over there. Drawing and playing, plunder. Target a player on the same tile as you and roll a die. If you roll a two, steal one treasure of your choice. That would have been so nice to have earlier. But you do get the two movement. I do get the two movement, which isn't bad. It'll at least get me into kind of an unexplored area. So You going straight through or going around? Uh, I think I'm going to go up around the edge. So three movement total. And you're in the cove right now, so I cannot fire on you. So we're going to go one. Is that a nope. location? Nope. Two and three will bring me right around to the edge here. And that is not a location either. <sighs> okay. That's the dolphin location. This is the dolphin location, which sadly is not a location we can draw from. So I'm going to go strong winds and rabbit's foot. Sure. So. You paying for that rabbit's foot? I'm not going to pay for the rabbit's foot. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, I am. Coin and a curse? Coin and Take a gamble? Coin and a curse, take a gamble. Now it's gonna give you two coins at the top, so I'll just give you one. So that's the coin that you paid. And then uh, move yourself up that curse tracker by one. I like you staying ahead of me there, it's nice. Uh, Plank, I, that's a repair. It's actually not bad for you, at least gets rid of something. I already had the repair, so it doesn't, it doesn't help actually that much. That's true. So take that. Never mind. So I can go one, two. That is not, that is a current location. It is. Ah, oh, great. Ah. Coin, there you are. What else do we have here? I'm not a very good pirate. Is that location out there? No, it's not. Well, that location's right here. It is. And Dodo Egg, uh, when you sell it, roll the die to determine its value. Oh, okay. could be good or bad? Could be, could good. be good or bad. Could be a zero. Uh, you're not within killing spot or shooting spot, we'll say. Now, important, when you pick that up, it's a cursed chest, so you can only move one tile. Fuck, I'm not that far from... You're pretty, yeah, you're pretty close. Is that it? That's it. All right, on to me. Draw two back up. Um, interesting. I... Wish I could get closer to you than I can. Mm. That stinks. I cannot quite make it where I need to. All right, we're gonna play a bomb and plunder. Okay. Um, I'm moving one, two, so I can get there. I can fire two shots off at you. Okay. So two damage coming your way. Ham and it reduced. Okay. So I can only do a Down to three. three. Yep. yep. Drop, Drop that one. Down. That's going to be the entirety of my action, but I'm at least kind of waiting for you outside of the gates. So I need <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. But you can only move one. You've got a cursed treasure chest on you. That's right. Okay. As soon as you draw this card, reveal it to the other players and resolve the attack. You're the top. So you're gonna roll that dice. You are taking, you're losing two treasure. Two treasure? And you're, you're losing two curses. One, two, and mm -hmm. then I lose the treasure I have? No, you no, lose just, two, just... two points, two points. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, I already scored treasure. I mean, you didn't have to roll that high. That was your own fault. <laughs> and draw your card back up there. Do you still draw up to four? Uh, you have a hand limit reduced, so you'll be oh, at three. Oh, three, yep. Draw the next, uh, so I will go. Grapple and a Voodoo Doll. Okay, Voodoo Doll's gonna gain you a coin. Yep. You can only move one at the moment. So where would you like to move? No, that's not you. That's me. Oh, it is you. We've been moving the wrong ship. No, you've been moving, this is, no, we've been moving the right ships. No, we've been moving the wrong ship. Remember, you just picked that up. At some point, we traded ships. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what, I'm, it had to have been like right over here. Yeah. Where we traded ships mid game. So what do you think, do you think we should keep going? Uh, sure, it'll be funny, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice. That's so funny. So you can move one. Yep. That is not a currently revealed island. Uh, no, it is not. Okay. Um, and I could pay to. I'm going to shoot you. From my booted off, or the grapple, either one. Okay, so one coin. Yep. I'm drawing up. Uh, cannons disarmed. Uh huh. Great. All I need to do though is draw the right card. I did not draw the right card. I was moving there in, in the hopes that I'd draw a plunder card and be able to just steal that from you. I was not able to, sadly. Uh, I'm going to play two strong wins. So, one, two. Open C. Three and four. Is that curved one? That curved one is one, so I'll go ahead and take that treasure, please. Place that here on my board. This Chris Trevor, did I lose this with the Kraken? You didn't lose it, no. Okay. So, so, so it just loaded The only down. way you could lose it is if I plunder Plunder it if you steal it from me, yep. Okay, on to you. Okay. Treasure slots reduced. So one. Two. Let's see. I'll actually play two rabbit's lucky foots. So that will actually give me four coin. Okay, yep. And then reduce and then remove all of my damage. Yep. You just heal yourself up. Now are you going to use any of their abilities? I Yes, I am. Should I do, do you have to call them both out? Uh, no, you can do one at a time. Let's so we'll start with one. Another rabbit's lucky. Wow. Four. Two more coins. Two more coins. You have a lot of money. I do. I'm gonna play it. So that's gonna be two crushes moving up. You're blue. Okay. okay. Grapnel, so at least get the movement because I can't get to you. You have a single point of movement, yep. So give me, you're probably going for that one over there. Well, you're slowed down right now because your treasure chest. It might be beneficial to drop that off. Yep, drop there. And then the one, do I go Do I, Do I? I go for it again? If you hit the fifth place on that curse track, you will take a attack, just so you know. But, I, but I'm at the fourth place. Yeah, it's your call. I think you're, you're not close enough to me. I think it's good. Okay. There you go. Oh, and did we cycle that treasure? I took a treasure, but you didn't cycle this one. Nope. So we need to cycle that. Oh, that's it though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that one back up. Like that. Uh, and that island is this guy right over here. Okay. All right, on to me. Drawing back up. I'm gonna play a strong winds, Ooh. and let's go ahead and fix myself up a little bit. So strong winds is gonna let me move on to this. I will take this egg, uh, go ahead and put out another treasure there. I'm gonna repair myself so my cannons are now enabled. Okay, so this what is that location? Is it out? It is, it's that one right there, and that's gonna be a treasure chest of value too. So I'm gonna move one over there. Okay, on to you. Okay. One voodoo doll. Mm -hmm. um, and one grapple. So that gives me one. I can spin two, so I'll we'll just say spin one. Add one curse to a player, or mm. remove from one from yourself. I'm gonna remove one from myself. It's probably not a bad choice. Um, and then the two, the movement from the voodoo doll and the voodoo from the grapnel. So. Well, you can only move one. You're you're kind of heading home there. That's that is true. That is going to be another th three points, however. So put yourself up there. Okay, is that it? That's it. All right, on to me. Drawing back up. Playing a voodoo doll and a strong winds card. Strong Winds is gonna bring me the whole way over here. I'm gonna go ahead and collect this treasure because I can carry three. Okay. 
go ahead and populate that. I'm gonna move one back in the direction of home. I could add a curse. Um, I cannot do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and gain a single coin. Is that guy out there yet? I do not believe it is. Four points though. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Nice. All right, on to you. Now, question, do I stay here? Do I come and attack you? you probably leave me alone, I think. I think that seems like the reasonable thing to do. I'm gonna do Gravenor and then Plunder. Okay. So, so you are moving on to me. You are coming to attack me. Is that what you're doing? Of course. Okay. Uh, actually, I can grab one treasure. Oh, it's not an, an uh, That's from an, an island. island. Yep. But mm -hmm. I can target put it in of the. Oh, it's the same tile. But I've got two movements. Yeah, you can get to me. <sighs> so you're spending a coin. Yep. And a curse. I'm glad I moved, moved that one back. Yeah. Uh, target a player on the same tile as you, roll a die. If you roll a two, steal one treasure of your choice. Of course. Oh! Where'd you get a two? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Which treasure are you taking? You're taking the one with opportunity, or are you taking... I mean, let me just give you the... I'm taking the two. This one has a maximum value of two. And this one is two. Yeah. So, I'm of course, I'm taking the two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sucks. Now, let me ask you this. Because it was two, that was only one way. Can I use that one to move one away? You can. And which I did. I know. <laughs> You're the worst. Please tell me I get a plunder so that I can come deal with you. I don't. Man. <sighs> You're a horrible person. Sometimes. I'm playing two grapnel. Okay. We're going to move into the cove. Um, you are out of the cove, so I, I can fire on you as I go by. I'm going to do one shot just across the bow, just because I'm pissed off. You're poor. Just cause <laughs> I, I know I am. I'm s very poor. I don't know where you got all this money. I think you've been sneaking it. Uh, it was the uh, Lucky's Foot. Lots of Lucky's Foots. Oops. Take one of those back. Okay. In there. What'd you get? Treasure slots reduced. Uh, it doesn't matter for you. No, I have one. Uh, coming here to the center, I did drop off my treasure. Ooh. This is going to be worth two. This is worth one, so I have a total of three, please. Okay. I know, it's on to your turn. I think you're, yeah, of course. I'm just gonna sail straight into treasure, drop off. I'll literally see you carrying in the treasure that you just stole from my so ship. So I want my two, two more coins, because as you said, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll be richer. Mm -hmm. Heal this one. You know you're not gonna be invited back. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come back in through with your treasure. Hello, <laughs> Captain Quackalope. You jerk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, what treasure do we have out here on the map? I believe we just have this one location revealed. There is this one. Which would say is, does not it's exist. It's got to be one of these. That's not there. All right. And that one's not there either. All uh, right. Actually... That. That one's there. Yeah. That one's there. So, I don't have great cards to play. Playing a plank and a strong winds. I, I'm going to play a bomb and a strong winds. I, I can't do the bottom action. I can't do any attack because we're both in the pri pi pirate cove. Uh, but I can at least go ahead and move two. One, two. Move on to this location. <laughs> That's the worst feeling. Just empty sea. Just imagine being on the bow, being like, oh, the pirate, the treasure's here, boys. <laughs> Mirage. <laughs> Your turn. You know, I think on one of these tiles, uh, I believe they're adding a little a little duck with horns. They should. On the corner of one of these tiles. A duck made. Just a little just a little quackalope. Won't that well, be so cool? I'm gonna do a bomb. Mm-hmm. Because of course. I've got endless money. Stop. <laughs> May as well. You don't it. have endless curses though. I hope we get another Kraken attack soon. I need something to reduce curses. And then I'll take more money. Here's your two money. What I'm, are you doing? I'm not going to do this. I would love to, but as you said, I'm a little close to curses. So, the uh, special is a, a little too close. But, I'm going to shoot you. Okay. I'll drop from the bag then. Is it one per? Just one to, one to shoot me. You're two away, yep. I have cannons disarmed. Of course I do. Of course I do, because why wouldn't I? 
That's it? That's it. All your actions, you don't have any move? No move. So you've had all this move. And I still have more money. And more points. Yeah. And more curses. I'm gonna play a plunder and a grapple. And I'm gonna see if I can find that level four treasure chest. One move. Is that anything? That is it. That is it, isn't it? Thank you very much. Uh, add one curse at the end of each turn. So every turn I'm taking with this, I'm suffering. But that was one single move. I've got two move left. I'm moving right back. But you know if I take it this turn. You're not gonna take it. That, I can win. You're not gonna take it. You won't do it. You're too chicken to do it. Oh, I'm definitely not too chicken to too do chicken it. Too chicken to do it. The as dolphin, soon as you reveal this, just reveal it to the other players and resolve the attack. You're taking that hit. You're the highest on the, uh, on the curse track. One. one. You're losing one treasure and one curse. Oh. Goes down and goes down. <sighs> Now you can't win by taking that anyway. Okay, discard pile. Well, that's a lot of... Nothing? A yeah, lot of but... nothing? No. I am attacking you a lot. <laughs> right? Because I can attack you and then attack you? Yeah. Yeah. You can. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, you shouldn't. I should. Alright. Let's see what we get here. Uh, no more doubloons. Great. Put a hole in my... Uh, limited movement. Great. And... A, uh, hand limit reduced. So... <laughs> I'm in rough shape. The good news is I only need one more... Space. Ah! Strong winds. <laughs> Into the pirate cove. Oh, and did you put up my curse meter by one? Because no. I ended my turn last turn. Yeah. So we actually should have tied. So both of us should have... I should have lost a curse and a treasure. Yeah. And then my curse actually goes back up right now. And now you're the first time I, you're ahead of me. Yeah. Four, four treasure for myself. I told you I'm going to win this. Oh, and I actually have to play... I have to play two cards. Uh, I'm playing a plank. Um, to go ahead and get rid of my hand limit reduction. Okay. And let's see here, what, what island do we have out right now? We have... Dolphin Island? Yep, for a potential of two victory Ooh, points. That's pretty good. The Circle Island's not out yet, mm. and this little guy over here for one victory point. Yep. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I will play... These two? Yep, voodoo and a grapple. You can't attack me. Does this have to go in an order? What do you mean? So, what I like to do, give me my one. Yep. I move one. Yeah, you can you can fire that grapple at the uh, Dolphin Island. Grab. Sure. Spend. Spend, Take. grab it. Yep, 100%. Take, move back. Go ahead and pop this up here. Go ahead and repopulate here. One. We are now back to tide. That's all right. I'm okay with that. And then this one is... Uh, I don't see that one out there. I don't think it's out there yet. Okay. I mean, we at least go with the amount of treasure I'm beating you. You, ha you do have the fancy nah, Kraken's I've got the Kraken's treasure. I'm clearly winning. <laughs> one, two, three. But good to score. Let's, ooh, limited movement is going to screw me on this. I don't have a good way to, all right. No way to heal? Playing a bomb, playing strong winds. I can only move one because I have limited movement. Can't hurt me. I'm in, hey, parlay. Yeah, 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 I can't, I can't fire off at you, but I can just go ahead and start moving in this direction, which is what I will do. Okay, on to you. I will do strong winds. Followed by Voodoo Doll. Okay. So I actually I'll, I'll rev ooh I I'll, I'll stick with that one. I just want that one pointer. It's just one pointer. That's the question, right? It is. One but it point. could be like these tiles could be the ones that I'm gonna do that one two three, which gets me there. All the way there. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not the one though. It's that Hope one down there at right. the end. And go ahead and restock that market and see what's next coming out. 
uh, sort of C-shaped one. That's right here. Ooh. And that's two points right there. <sighs> this could be bad news. And then I'll take, then I go to my food at all, which is one more. Mm -hmm. And then you already used all three movement. Yep. You can't fire at me. I you can't could, fire at you, you but I am going to spin this to reduce one of my curses down. Okay. I'm going to move you up. I'll move me down. I've... That makes sense. Me being above you, I mean, it means I'm going to be attacked next if, if another one comes. Luckily for me, another one did not come. I really need some healing abilities. Hmm. Open sea, buddy. Open sea. Or two treasure. I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad spot. Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and spend strong winds and a voodoo doll. I can move two because my movement's reduced by one. So one, two. <sighs> Open sea. It's cloudy. I get a single coin. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> Let me get these shuffled so you can draw back up there. Like one, I need one more. Yep. Which is a kraken. That's roll it. Then it's you roll it. Uh, I'm not rolling anything. Nothing. <laughs> Good. I wanted you to drop points. Good. It's the break I needed. All I need is four more points. Go ahead and draw back up there. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, so that is one more coin. Three more coins. I know. I'm rich. Do I want to take that curse to move up one? I think this time is a good time to do that. Oh! So that's going to, that was the one, and then mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. one more coin, mm -hmm. three. Oh, you don't get a coin for moving on there. It's not, re it's already been revealed. Oh. You only get a coin for revealing gotcha. it. That brings me three, as well as receiving. You certainly do. That. Go ahead and cycle that top deck. Ooh, the face. And I will spend one more coin to give you a curse. One more point to give me a curse. You suck. Did you push me up there? What'd you say? Did you push me up there on the curse track? Oh, and I do have... That's one that, and then one for me as well for that. You already did that. That's how you drew strong winds. Oh, did you not pay it when you do it? I did not pay it. Okay. Did you push me up on the curse track? I did. Okay. So we're both... Cool. Nope, I did not you, so you're at four. <sighs> I'm at two now. I'm going to... You're going to be one point away from winning soon. But you're also... Oh, I'm higher than you on the curse track, too. I'm in a bad spot. Okay. This is good, at least. If I want to use it. Okay. Uh, Voodoo Doll. Ooh. And Plank. I'm going to get rid of that limited movement. Okay. Uh, I have one movement. Which will push me here. Open C. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> um... Are you gonna spend for the video? I am. I am. So I spend one because I gained one. To move me up or move you back? I'm pushing myself back. Okay. Um. Oh, did you? Have to, oh, you got one. Spend one. I did. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be everything I can do. Okay. On to you. I know you're gonna score like, like four points right now. Oh, no movement. None. None. Good. Good. It means I still have a chance of potentially finding something. Anything, please. Oh, I'm gambling here. Okay. All players, discard one card, choose one of them, and play it. Do you have any movement cards? <laughs> well, I'm doing both. So You're I'll, doing both? Well, I, 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 well, now that you're doing that one first, I don't have to do the other one. So, either way, I was going to get this card. Uh-huh. Are you doing both or no? Yeah, I'll do both. Plunder, target a player of the same tile. You so you get, you get four movement. So I move here. Cash in. Gives me one, two, three. Oh, I'm so close. Target a player of the same. Uh, You're position. not going to be able to do that. Yep. But you can move towards that pirate island. The skull island. Uh, which one's this one? Right there. Oh, yeah. And that's two movement. Mm-hmm. 
Which gets me, mm-hmm, question mark. Which could be zero. It mm -hmm. could be zero. It could be. It could be zero. It certainly could be. That's a very big, those dino eggs are gambles. Ooh, Trident of Poseidon. Where's it gonna be? That's the question. Short of the, ah, right here. Ooh. Two points. Two points right there. Ooh, this is getting close. Man, you took all my cards. You damaged my ship. My turtle is not. Stole your treasure. <laughs> not a nice pirate. Strong winds, voodoo. I'm gonna gain a coin. One, two. I can move three. You going there? Uh, I, I'm going to move to this one. Oh, and that's not one. I thought it might be. All right, I moved to that one. I cannot fire on you. I'm too far away. I can, however, go ahead and pay two coins to remove a curse for myself. So we're both tied. So put that down. So that could lose you some points. Let's see. I just need you to draw up a curse card. Nope. So I'm going to play. And so the question of this goes is do I gain this or not? Uh huh. Oh! <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Man. Oh! I was supposed to win. I was supposed to win. You're not coming back. You're not invited back. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. All the plans we've had for Kingdom Death, all the other things we've Later, people, I'll see you. I mean, you're just gonna, like, you're going to leave on a high note, I suppose, but... Darn it! I did not find much treasure at all. Super fun. I can see this was really fun. I, that three... I think that three person is probably... I can't uh, wait to... I can't wait to I was going to see. So, so for those of you that just skipped to final thoughts, end of the gameplay... Yes. Oh, you're good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Uh, why'd you skip the gameplay? I don't, you know, I don't quite understand. You were just saying you could see this being really fun at. It was fun at two. Sure, it's, I, it's not perfect at two. No, no, like, because because those, because those beginning rounds are like a little bit moving around, yeah. and there's not that bumping into each other that happens with more people. Think about it with like four or five, or like even three. I think five would be a very quick game, probably. I think that four is probably feels about. I think right. I think four is probably the sweet spot for this game. And we didn't have four people, so we wanted to display the mechanics and show totally. off how it plays. I 100% agree with you, though. You get a little bit more chaos on this map. You bump into each other. You have those plunder actions. You start trading treasures back and forth. Like, you know, you have a few pirates sweep up next to someone to attack them on their way home. Could be very cool. I think there's also about like a little negotiating that ends up happening in those. Like, hey, Possibly. like, I want to attack you if you go there. I think some of that will happen. Yeah. I think that would be real fun. Yeah. I, I personally just really like the the way that the treasures come out and this exploration as you're sailing around. I like I just like how this feels to kind of be discovering this whole like little island place. Yeah, I am excited for the next version of these cards. I think there is that little bit of like, does that exactly match this? And so I think that I think them solving that will really yeah. do a lot for this. The next versions will be a direct sepia scale of the actual tiles. She'll not only see the shape, but you also see the tonalities and the style. Which I think will help a lot. Um, it will, yeah. And it, it, you know, that's one of the things that they've they've listened to like player feedback and decided to go ahead and change that up. But it's real fun. It's real quick. It's I real like fun. it. It's a real quick, like it's a very accessible, real quick family game. It has a little bit of you know action selection or, or hand management. Yep. Um, I I also it is the simplest way I've seen to demonstrate pirate battles. I really like this very simple graphical update to the ship that you're playing with. I would love to see more of those. I think a few more of those to get a different sure. variety of things that they can do. Sure, I, I, I don't disagree. I always ask for, for kind of lighter family friendly type games. I always tend to ask for heavier, more complex, like messy games, because I like them. So I can see why they haven't uh, scaled up the asymmetry to a degree because it is a family focused game. But I, I agree. I think more options would, per each one. I would love to see more. I would love to see kind of more damage abilities and more. But I, I like the five spots and how and how it's they. It's cool, right? Yeah, and it kind of gives a nice. It gives a nice picture of like actually what's happening too. Like this one shows like the cannons are dam the cannons are damaged. I love that it visually updates your board. Yeah, me too. I think that's super cool. Um, but no, this is I. The last bottle of rum is a game that I you know, I've I've enjoyed it every time I've played it. I think it's a a sweet little kind of family friendly game. Um, I'm excited for them. I think they have. I think they have a little a little charmer here. Yeah, it's so. fun. 
Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you've enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, or if you didn't, I mean, really, I don't, I don't care that much, do I? I won, so they should. He won. So, uh, so if you if you're if you're voting for Tommy at the very start of the video, then maybe you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I mean, honestly, if you've watched about thirty minutes worth of our gameplay and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I mean, at this point, they really shouldn't, right? That's right. Yeah. At, at this point, don't bother. Don't don't even worry about it. Thank you for joining us, though. We appreciate you being here. Um, if you want to be more involved with the community here, the stuff that we're doing, the the videos that we put on our channel, mm -hmm. we have a active Patreon. Um, so swing over there, say hello. We're gonna we're gonna skip and film some Kingdom Death now, right? Yep. We're gonna swing into a this is fun. Now. Nearly the opposite of the Last Battle of Rome to some degree. <laughs> yeah. A cooperative dungeon crawl. Well, not dungeon crawl. A cooperative showdown and settlement building. Uh, uh, very dark game. So, thank you for joining us. Whatever you do, though, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you.